because immediately she was cited, Lagos State has taken over immediately. And that is why we are all here today to rejoice with her. And we thank our host too for taking good care of her. Um, I, I, I know she's alive. I we can see we can see that we are really really connecting. This is really is really doing the job. Wow. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Keep it up. And this is not the first one we've been doing. We have been reaching out to people. So we say thank you once again. On behalf of Lagos State, Office of Civic Engagement. I welcome everyone here present to come and to, to come here to join with our sister Mary Daniel. So this event on our birthday, we are 26, 26, 26 today. She's 26 today. Congratulations once again. In the name of Almighty God, we declare this event. Thank you. Hey guys, good evening. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Bridget. How are you guys doing? I hope you are doing well. So, in case you are wondering who that beautiful young woman is, it's the same Mary. Yes, Mary Daniels that I shared her story with you last week. If you have not seen that video, I'm going to link it. Um, You look up now and see a link to it or check my description box. It was the story I shared about this young lady that was, you know, crying her eyes out saying that uh, she has no help and that she was having to sell uh, pure water to su for survivor because she had a, she has a baby and there was no help and the man that her grandmother linked her to to marry abandoned her after duping her of the money that a good samaritan in nigeria gave her five hundred thousand that um, they gave her to start business he cleaned out her account and left her stranded so after having the baby she had no choice but to leave the baby with her grandmother in Benue State and then went to Lagos and started hawking water on the streets on one leg. So these are the images before. This is Mary on the streets of Lagos, hawking pure water, running inside traffic. And, you know, oh, my God, she was homeless. She didn't have anywhere to sleep. She was, you know, the risk that she was exposing herself to just to survive was just, oh, my God, it was too much. Lagos, as you know, is not an easy place. It's a very harsh city. Everything moves very quickly there. And for a young woman like this to be living on the streets, had, she had no place to lay her head on. Uh, it was terrible. Anyway, in that story that I shared with you guys, she began to trend and Nigerians, well, many Nigerians came together and raised the sum of 14 million naira for her to start a business because she had dreams of becoming a tailor. She said she wants to be a fashion designer. Well, God has really heard Mary's prayer because uh, it seems like the Lagos State government has come to her rescue as well. This is Mary that you can see. This is a photo shoot that Mary did. And this was all put together by, you know, individuals and private organizations and charities to celebrate her on her birthday. It was her 26th birthday and they gave her a complete makeover from head to toe. Oh, my God. I mean... This young woman's story is so, so heartwarming. It is a story of hope. It's a story of encouragement. And it's a story that all, it will challenge us that if whatever you think your challenges are, you have to do your path and keep praying to God. Don't just fold your hand because a lot of people will say, after I'm disabled, what can I do? Even people that have to let go, they are struggling. What, I'm, uh, uh, what, uh, talk less of me. But she didn't allow it to stop her. If she was not hawking that, pure water on the streets. The people that made a, a video about her would not have seen her. She would not have ordinarily got, getting the even the first money that she got that she was duped by her baby daddy. She would not have gotten that half a million naira. Even after that incident, she still didn't give up. I'm telling you, the strength that this young lady has is something that encourages me as a person. She is so she has this inner strength that you know if you watch that video, it will bring tears to your eyes she said i can't give up i have to keep pushing my baby is there my i want my baby to have good education i need to keep working so with this pure water she was actually selling pure water saving some money and sending money to her grandmother in kogi state for her daughter's upkeep 
Wow. So it's like uh, the stars have finally aligned in Mary's fa favor. She's been recognized, not just by the money that they contributed for her, the 40 million naira they contributed for her to start her uh, business. The Lagos State government stepped in, they provided her accommodation, and they've also promised to support her to make sure that she is not homeless by giving her a suitable accommodation. They've already given her a place to stay, and it seems like uh, everything is turned around for her good. God is awesome, my people. God is so, so great. For some reason, she calls herself Mary Daniels Amputee. I was looking at her profile and frankly, I wish she wouldn't put that Amputee. I know she's an Amputee, but her story is a story of strength and encouragement. She is not, she may have, you know, had her leg amputated, but that's not who she is. I don't know why she's decided to give, whether she's the one that gave herself that name. Or labeled herself like that. Or somebody that told her that that's the name she should use. But left to me. Just Mary Daniels is okay. You don't need to put amputee. Because we are not. You are not your condition. You are not your medical condition. Or whatever it is. Whether you're, you have one leg or one hand. You are a human being. You are a full human being. So I wish she didn't put that amputee. I'm just saying. But I don't know why they chose to put that name for her. Mary Daniels amputee. And you will not believe it my people. After everything this young lady has been through now, that God has finally smiled on her and turned her story around. She's like a celebrity now. She's got an Insta Instagram account, you know. People are just dashing her. You know Nigerians now, when something like this happens, everybody wants to key into that blessing. Let me put it that way. It's not only that. So many things happening, you know, for her. Her story has completely changed. It's brought a lot of hope and encouragement to other people who are, you know, in worse or similar predicament like she was before. Already, somebody has already cloned her account, her Instagram account. Oh, my God. Somebody don't clone her account already. I'm like, oh, my God. They are trying to use her again now to scam. Hey, our people, they will never change. This poor girl again, now when you just, God, just smile on now, you cloned her account to, so that you now use it and start begging people. Instantly, now she report the account. Say, this is not me. This is not me. Oh, this is not me. Please, you people should help me report it to Instagram. This is not me. So this is Mary. Oh, Mary is a millionaire now, and uh, they're about to open her shop for her. Uh, I think she's got some support in place to start her business. And uh, that's the story when it was shared uh, initially when she was telling her story. That's what you see they're playing on the television. I mean, you should see the birthday. This birthday was like a carnival. It was like a it was like a super celebration of a celebrity. There were people with trumpet there. There were different music. If you see Mary dancing there, eh? hey, you self, eh? You that have two legs, you cannot dance like that. She was really happy. She was elated, as she should be. And of course, the Lagos State Government is there, uh, represented by that lady that I was speaking to take all the glory. Uh, but one thing we should recognize that as much as we are happy for mary daniels we are very very pleased because in the first place she should not have even been on the street you can see there that she's teary again she's always crying whenever her story is being told and because it's an emotional story uh but the Lagos state government needs to go out and they don't need to even look too far people like mary are everywhere both children both adults i mean we saw a video uh on instagram a cop i think it was last week where this couple uh the guy uh, the man was disabled and they were doing baby dedication in church hey they were doing baby dedication i was dancing the, the woman the wife because they were in the same clothes so i presume his husband and wife was holding the baby and this man was literally on on his he was crawling and I'm like, oh my God, why is this? There's nobody in this church, even if the government are blind, that they don't care. We all know that politicians are thieves. They are thieves in Nigeria. Even if the politicians can't see it to say, let us buy, you know, a wheelchair for this man. Nobody in this, can the church not buy a wheelchair? How much is wheelchair? Yet they recorded him and the thing is everywhere. So a lot of people now go on it and say, please, if you have his contact, 
please, it's not right that this man should be crawling in a place like this. If since nobody, this church or government have volunteered to buy a wheelchair, we want to buy a wheelchair for, for this person. I don't know if they finally found him um, to be able to gift him with the wheelchair, but I know a lot of people were interested in finding him so they can help him. So my point is, our government needs to wake up. There needs to be proper packages for people who are living with disability. Don't wait for videos. Don't wait for Instagram posts or Facebook posts to trend. Don't wait for blogs to carry stories before you now know that you're supposed to do something to help people who are disabled. They should do something. Have I'm sure they have the commission or commissioner or whatever, the organization that are responsible for helping, you know, supporting people who have disability, but... They never do anything. It's only when they see one case like this that all of them will now be jumping as if they don't see a lot of disabled children and adults all around begging on the streets, which is really, really sad and heartbreaking. Some of them have turned into a business now. People now begin to exploit them in a way that you see that uh, some people will now go and be hiring those disabled people to go and beg and bring money and they will be sharing. It, it is it's so, so pathetic. But um, yeah, we're happy for Mary. I'm particularly very pleased that uh, God has smiled on her. And I'm sure her baby daddy will just be looking now and say, Ah, I shot myself on the foot. What did I do? Had I know, I would not have taken that money. I would have stayed with her because you can see that she's a, a young woman that has got glory. When the glory of God is upon your life, no matter what you go through in life, the day that God will smile on you that, you know, your star will shine. And things will begin to fall into places. And all those years of the cat caterpillar and cankerworm as eating will just be like they never even existed. This is what is happening to Mary now. And that's why I'm so hopeful and so happy with this young woman's story. And I want to encourage you out there. If you are watching this, please, whatever it is that you are going through, do not relent. If Mary was not selling pure water, on the street they would not have seen how if she was lying there at home or watching just watching tv all the time or you know browsing social media and not doing something find something to do if you are one that's always giving excuses i can't do this what can i do what can i do find something to do it is what you have found to do the works of your hands that you are doing that god will bless don't go and be like all those people that go to nigeria every day and be shout that go to nigerian churches every day and shout father bless me father bless me if you've got nothing for god to bless then you are wasting your time it is the works of your hands that god will bless so i'm challenging you today especially people who are watching me from nigeria please encourage yourself find something to do and then add prayer to support it and god will definitely bless you and smile on you even if it doesn't happen immediately just keep waiting and holding on and i'm sure the same god that answered mary daniels will remember all of us in our own time so this is the update i wanted to share with you guys today to um let you know that Mary is a millionaire that is dining with the high and mighty in society now. She, You see the, 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 the money? <laughs> God punish poverty. Ah, poverty, eh? poverty, bad. Look at this girl. On that first video, she was sweating. If you see her skin, you will know that Sofa has touched her. But look at Mary now. Just look at Mary now. She's all bling bling, makeup on point, nice dresses. And that killer smile, she has this amazing smile that just lights up whenever she smiles. It just lights up the room. So, yeah, we are so, so pleased for her. And, um, yeah, happy birthday, Mary Daniels. Please stop calling yourself an amputee. Your name is Mary Daniel. And um, we thank God for your life. And uh, wishing you more successes in the future. And uh, hoping that uh, you will grow from strength to strength. Your situation will be permanent. Your blessings will be permanent. And uh, you will never go back to where you came from. Um, to suffer again in Jesus name. So I'm just going to leave it here with you guys today. Thanks a lot for watching guys. If you have not yet subscribed. Please consider doing that before exiting this video. Hit on the like button and share this video if you enjoyed it. 
it's a story of hope it will encourage somebody so please encourage whoever it is that you know that they are feeling like maybe god has forgotten them you can encourage them with this video by sharing it with them on whatsapp group or whatever social media handle that you use and i shall speak to you in my next video thanks a lot for watching i love you Bye bye